Yo, no copyright on this vid. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Weston Smith coming at you with another banger video in the four banger, the Subaru STI. I get some comments on it, so I might as well just let you know what I'm whipping today. Uh, anyways, that's besides the point. Meeting up with Chef Aaron again today. We're going to hit some fire ponds, but I do want to hit this juicy little one right here in McKinney, Texas right now with the frog. 5 p.m., 90 degrees out, and yet it's overcast and the storms are supposed to be incoming, so the UV index is low hence the tank top. We're going to get rocking and rolling on some potential top water, which the Bass Forecast app says is supposed to be the juice tonight. Now, let me show you a little bit about this thing. Unpaid. I just really like this app. So you open up Bass Forecast app and literally it says today the bite rating is a 9 out of 10. Yesterday it was like a 4.2 middle grounds average bite. It kind of gives you like how active the fish might be, what they might be hitting on. It's absolutely crazy. So today's a nine out of 10. It tells you the best times to fish, the best locations in the ponds. Like it says points, this, that, and the other. Shallow, deep, it kind of gives you a little hint. And you can even switch over and it'll tell you what baits to throw. It literally tells you what baits to throw. This is nuts, man. I get DMs on Instagram all the time. If you guys aren't following me, it's W Smithstagrams. It's always linked in the description, the Instagram. But anyways, I get questions all the time on what baits to throw ponds, what's my favorite baits, all that different stuff. And now, all you have to do is download this app. It literally says that a frog is the number one bait to throw right now because of the weather conditions and other sciencey stuff that the app bases this uh, predictions off of. It says any sort of top water will do, though. Think poppers, whopper ploppers, buzz baits, all the goods. Number three on the rating today is crankbaits. And I've got plenty of crankbaits. I'm fishing ponds, so oftentimes at the ponds you might want to throw like a one to three foot diver, otherwise you might be catching all kinds of crap hitting the bottom. You'll have more, you'll get more frustrated than you will thrilled about the about those uh, treble hooks. Fourth on the list is swim baits, and I've got a big old swim bait tied on. It's the bluegill swim bait. I cannot wait to throw it. And then last on the list here is plastic worms and creature baits. And of course this isn't everything you should throw, but it's just a good baseline maybe to tie a few things on and hit these local spots and it's going to be catered to your area day, weather, all that good stuff. So I love the app and uh, on the on the creature bait and worms, I just want to throw out, you know, think wacky rig, Texas rig, creature baits, hogs, big old worms, just whatever. But uh, I'm going to jump over here with the frog only, I think, and see if we can't snag a fish real quick. I'm actually meeting up with Chef Aaron at the main ponds. We want to fish tonight, some golf course private access stuff. But before he meets up with me, okay, sunscreen's applied. I'm just taking... I was gonna just take one thing, but I think I might take two things. I'm not gonna bring any spare plastics. I'm just literally gonna see if I can get a bite real quick before I meet up with Chef over at the other ponds. So I'm going with the frog and the T-rigged crack and crawl in blue baby color. I always park like a five minute walk on the other side of these ponds, but screw that today. I'm just hopping over right here. Ugh. And that is how you do it. All right, now let's quiet down and try and get this top water bite. No frog bite at the minute. Let's see if they will hit the crawl. Okay, gave the frog a couple minutes, gave the crawl a couple casts. Let's go ahead and just get to these other ponds. Okay. Dang, it's looking dark over there. That's for dang sure. Look at that swim bait. I'm throwing that next. Oh man, the gate's locked. I think uh, half an hour later I found out the way into this freaking golf course place is just parking at these businesses across the street. So let me go ahead and get in here, get to this corner that looks super juicy based on some kids' large catches they're posting on Fish Brain, and I'll see if I can't snag us a fish, why don't we? Aaron is on his way. Okay, we're on first approach. The real question is right or left? And uh, I was thinking right, it looked better, and then I just went left. Let me just double check the map. Okay, here we go guys, first side of the pond. This looks, oh wow. Look at this island with uh, rock all around. Looks so jiggy. Okay, split second decision. I just decided the crawl could be worth a cast or two. The wind's blowing right up against these rocks right here. I'm thinking there might be a fish to snag here before I get to where I really want to fish. And this isn't the type of stuff I was hoping to see on the bottom. Let me cast somewhere else real fast. Out here off of this thing. This could be, this could be a good cast right here. Let's walk it down just a hair. Lots to cover. I'm gonna throw this swim bait for half a second along this, uh, I'm gonna give this at least one cast right here. Along this bank. Hey. I thought that was you, but it's not. It, there's a car just like yours backed up underneath a tree. Later. All right, bye. 
right, Chef just got here. He's walking up over the hill, and we are gonna walk it down to this spot over here that looks extra juicy, man. Let me tell you what. Let's get over there. See y'all in half a second. Guys, we are at what appears to be the freaking money zone. Wow, just had hits. He took the crawl. Fudge. Y'all check this out. Never used this buzz bait before. Got this in a mystery tackle box recently. And uh, we're gonna see how this thing fares. I've been seeing some fish kind of hit the top. And we're rocking 17 pound fluorocarbon. Somebody actually mentioned that to me because a little bit more stretch, maybe you won't miss some of these blow ups. There we go. Got one on the buzz bait. About time. Oh, oh my gosh, it is a monster gill. I don't even think he went for the buzz bait. I think the buzz bait went for him. Let's see if we can't just plop him off here. There we go. That was a nice little confidence boost though. Oh Lord. All right, I'm going to meet Chef on this far side. What's going on? How are you doing? Tucker. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Weston. Tucker. You fish here a lot, it sounds like? That's cool. This is probably a bad idea. Hey, buddy. There he is. Oh, he's uh, he's okay, man. He's not too bad. Yeet. Come here. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, he he might be three, man. That's not bad. Uh, in your pocket. Yeah, let's hook it up, man. I appreciate you. What's your name? Garrett. Garrett I'm Weston. Oh, you were right on the money. Somewhere three eight. There, yeah. Right at three and a half, you guys. First one of the day. Little crack and crawl. Why not? That'll do. Nice. Chef's on with another one. This is a weird fish. The last fish that we saw was super healthy, but this guy's got a weird eye. I mean, his gills are super red, but I don't know, just super skinny. Very weird. Yeah, big head on him. The new whopper plopper. That came on. That came on his new whopper plopper, man. So I'm gonna go with that buzz bait again. Y'all saw the catch earlier. That big old bluegill, about the size of that bass. <laughs> a little bit more subtle. Oh my god, dude. That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I do have a scale, chef. That's a big fish right there. That's a big fish, dude. Uh, hey, you got him. Oh my god, that's a good one, dude. That's a big fish on the plopper. First time throwing the plopper ever. Two casts in a row, Chef just got plopper fish. This one could literally be his personal best. This is a big sucker. It's definitely over four. Th this won't let him go. No way. What is it? Four and a quarter pounds, dude. Four and a quarter. Is that your new personal best or is it not? No. Well, it's not? Four, what is your personal best? Five. Dang, he's smoking it with a five pounder, but the plopper just got him that four and a quarter right there. This thing is a chunker. Dude, this is awesome, bro. Dude, you saw him hit it too, yep. huh? Yep. God, that's a wow. Top water's hitting now. There's a bunch of big fish over here. That Give the buzz bait a rest for a second and try something different. Yeah. Making another move, y'all. Been in this little corner for a while. See what's uh see what else lies beyond. There goes the lightning. We might want to head back. I have a feeling this thing's gonna just like slam down on us. As good as the bite's probably about to get, we kind of need to split because we're about a mile from the cars. And uh, yeah, it's looking, we just saw the first lightning right over here, so. All right guys, two fish for me. One on the buzz bait, one on the, what I throw? Blue crack and crawl. Black and blue crack and crawl. Chef had a few catches as well. Some huge ones. All on top water or no? One on the uh, wacky rig and then I got, um, those other two big ones on the whopper plopper. Dang, man. Okay, so he's caught like four fish and uh, the storm is chasing us out of here. Yeah, dude. I think you can probably hear it. And there's another pond close to where we parked the cars where the lot is like right next to where we would fish. So we might try this other pond for a couple minutes. Top water frog it. I really want to catch a frog fish for you guys on this video. Otherwise, we'll just maybe hammer down on the plopper and buzz bait over here as long as the rain hasn't got to us yet. It's just right down the street, so we might give it five minutes, but uh, we'll catch you there. 
just rolled up to the second pond. Storm's on the way. I've got the frog and the swim bait. It looks way froggier than last time I was here, dude. Last time I was here, it was like spring, and I caught some decent ones it's on that backside mainly. Kind of surprised we haven't already got a bite. There we go, we just spooked one. I was gonna say, something's got these fish acting finicky today. Here we go, here's the activity side. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, Chef, that's a big one. Oh, dude. It's a catfish. <laughs> I thought it was a humongous bass. Huh? No, on the big bluegill. There we go. That was a hit right there. 